very exciting. Good to see you guys. All right, let's do some stats just because we all missed it. Am I right? We missed it. When the p-value is low, no, gotta go. go. I love yeah. that. Good stuff. Good morning. This is very exciting. We still have some folks coming in from the waiting room, yeah. uh, but but welcome to your awards assembly for the awards assembly for the CVGS class of 2022. This is very exciting. Even though we couldn't gather in per person, we definitely didn't want to miss an opportunity to uh, celebrate with you and give you the opportunity to congratulate your class. Dr. Smith, you muted. Somebody muted me. Am I still that was, muted? That was my bad. I'm sorry. Why, why are you going to go and mute me in the last time I get to see the, well, I know I talk a lot. I got excited. I'm going off script. I haven't seen the kids in a while. It's good to see you all. We still have folks coming in from the waiting room. We are going to record this and post it to YouTube. So if you're comfortable having your video on, that'll be great. Uh, Mrs. Shamit's going to work out how you can see my shared screen and we can see the gallery view. Um, and so that'll be great. So one thing we learned is that when you use the electronic reactions, while you see them in real time, they're not recorded. And isn't that interesting? So what I want you to do even, yeah, I know Lily, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go, yay, because that, that'll be recorded. So that'll be cool. Um, the chat also won't be recorded, but if you want to chat positive messages for your classmates, that's also good. You all understand you have been at Go School for a year and you understand what our community of a community of learners means. And I think that's really cool. We are so excited for the fall. I, I'm totally off script, but I'm just, I'm really excited thinking about you guys uh, coming back in the fall and getting the full CVGS experience where you get to meet and really get to know the kids in person. I know that you've been working in your learning teams and meeting kids from other divisions, but it's gonna be better. It's gonna be really cool when you guys get to work in the tech labs and you get to be on site all at once. So we're super excited for the fall. We're super excited for this morning and to um, congratulate all of you for your achievements and to help you come together um, just for a quick awards assembly. It'll be about 30 minutes. Um, we are going to start by actually recognizing some of the other people and the folks that support the governor school. There are certain um, groups and individuals who support us and we couldn't provide the program for you that we want to without them. So what I'm going to do, I've mentioned we're recording for anybody who's just come in from the waiting room. We are recording. So if you're comfortable with your video on, that's fine. If you're not, you do not need to have your video on. And I am going to share my screen. I'm going to share a PowerPoint that I created for this morning. Okay. So the first group that I want to recognize, these are policymakers and administrators that support our program. So you should now see each school division. You should see the name of the superintendent of that school division. And then where it says board member, these are members of the school boards from each school division who also come together. They volunteer to serve as our governing board, our policy making body. And we really appreciate their service to the governor's school. Then you'll see where it says advocate. These are central office administrators who are your points of contact if you have any concerns about uh, how the governor's school is working with um, your policies or regulations or transportation, anything like that in your division. So we appreciate the work of all these folks. The next group is our school advisory board. These are the folks that work in your base schools, in your high schools, and we typically serve 10 high schools. We are going to serve 11 next year. We have a student from Stanton River, and we're very excited about that. Yeah, so it's awesome. So we are expanding our community of learners. So what you'll see here are your principals, and we interact with the principals all the time. Uh, we also see the guidance counselors. These are the folks that make sure that your schedules work well so that you don't have conflicts between your gov school schedule and your base school schedule. They also help us as we do grade reporting and any number of things. So we're very grateful to them for their support. The next group is our CVGS Foundation Board. Um, and I have the pleasure of working with the Foundation Board. And many of you know that the CVGS Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit 
who has as the, its sole mission is to support this program and support our students. And so they raise funds and they provide funding for everything from the research equipment that you have to research trips to your registration for symposiums to the scanning electron microscope and the laser engraver. They provide the insurance for your laptops so that if you do have an unfortunate event with your laptop, you won't pay for that out of pocket. They provided this year for masks and hotspots for families who had trouble with internet connectivity. They provide for the medals that some students are going to win today for scholarships every year. We are so grateful to the foundation board. We are also grateful to the foundation. So um, what you see here are the names of the current foundation board members. If there's one asterisk next to the name, that means they're a graduate of the program. So Mrs. Kim Tibbs is a graduate of the Gov School. If you see two asterisks, that means that they are a parent of a current or former CDGS student. Another board I would like to mention is the Industrial Advisory Board. The Industrial Advisory Board is made up of uh, community partners and industry leaders, and they help us with ensuring that we have internship placements, or in your case, speakers for our internships. And they also provide special opportunities for research. They'll help out with research projects. Some of you are aware of that. And we're very grateful to our members of our Industrial Advisory Board. And again, if you see a single asterisk, that's someone who graduated from Gov School. And if you see two, that's a parent of a current or former Gov School student. So at this time, I'm gonna turn over the presentation to Dr. Mr. Douglas, who's gonna recognize some other very important CVGS program partners. Dr. Douglas? Yes, that's right. Hello and good morning, students. Um, first of all, I realize, of course, that you don't, you may not know all of these people and you're seeing all these names, but you know that a lot of folks, a lot of things happen behind the scenes to make Governor's School the great program that it is. So a lot of people are putting effort into this. Um, although the class of 2022 had an internship experience that was very different from what we typically provide, you're probably like, what are you talking about? What internship program? Well, remember those career explorations? We couldn't send you out there because of the mask and all the other challenges going on this year. Um, but we still had a very meaningful experience. And I hope that you all still enjoyed and learned from the presentations that we had this year. We want to officially acknowledge and thank those businesses and organizations who have supported our internship program, both this year and in pre-pandemic years, because we've got a lot of supporters. We've had over 100 in the past 35 years that we've been doing internships, and we have dozens that help us out every year. This is a list of all those organizations, and we could not provide this program without their willingness to open their doors, donate their time. They don't get paid for this. They're taking time out of their busy schedules to make a meaningful experience because they know how much the Governor's School can provide for our students, and they want to be a part of that. So we really thank all of our internship partners. And I also wanna give a special uh, shout out to uh, Mrs. Shamit, who also has done an amazing job this year, keeping in communication with a lot of these partners and organizing and facilitating these speakers. It really has been an amazing year. So uh, thank you all students, Mrs. Shamit and everybody else that made this possible. I'm now gonna turn this back over to Dr. Smith. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. So it's now time to recognize some outstanding achievements by members of the CVGS class of 2022. And I want everyone to keep in mind that this has been a challenging year. So every junior in this class, every junior should feel really good about the work he or she has been able to do. I mean, this has been a pandemic of historic proportions and you all have shown dedication to your work and tenacity and perseverance, and we're very proud of all of you. Now, as we recognize your classmates, um, we're not gonna be able to see the electronic reactions in the recording that we're gonna post on YouTube. So just clapping like this will be great because we will see that. Uh, and I'm very excited for you to support each other as we always do. Um, our first presenter for this morning is Mrs. Shiflett. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Uh, good morning, students. As you know, the courses here at CVGS are rigorous, and this is especially true during the junior year when our newest Griffins are transitioning into our program. The fact that this year was also a hybrid model likely made that transition even more challenging. But despite that extra challenge, 
uh, some of you were not only successful in your junior years, but you were able to earn straight A's in at least one marking period. In fact, some of you were able to earn straight A's not in just one marking period, but in every marking period so far this year. This is a remarkable achievement, and we want to take a moment to recognize these students. You should now see a link in the chat for a program for this morning's assembly. Is that coming up in the chat? As it comes up in the chat, if you scroll to the last page of the program, you will see the names of the CVGS class of 2022. Students who earned straight A's in each marking period so far this year are indicated with a star. I will now call the names of each of these students and we will unmute and applaud their effort and achievement at the end of the list. Pablo Alanis, Sarah Blair, Isaiah Bradner, Prentice Carter, Brian Kate, Bethany Duncan, Beverly Eborn, Landon Epperson, Ethan Gardner, Sarah Holt, Pranab Jaffe, Eric Coffey, Eugene Kim, Hannah Kim, Ella Lewis, Teddy Liu, Ina Lynch, Lance Martin, Kylie Moffin, Reagan Morford, Jared Newcomb, Lauren Knoll, Jillian Nyland, Alasia Oaks, Chandler O'Rourke, Amanda Powell, Leanne Ranger, Avery Rourke, Leilani Rucker, Tyreek Saidu, Iman Saeed, Andrew Tabor, Alex Taylor, VB Trost, Lily Van Bergen, Ella Wesolowski, Jacob Williams, Jeffrey Wooters, and Austin Wright. Let's unmute and give a round of applause to all of these students. Yay. 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 Oh, right. Well, that is an impressive list. Um, well done, students. Um, and so now it's my pleasure to kind of transition to some of the other things that we've been involved in this year. So I want to share the results of the Central Virginia Regional Science Fair. You've heard some of these before, so we just want to take time in our own moment now to celebrate those successes. So once again, CVGS students won numerous category awards and special awards at the Regional Science Fair. In addition, Griffins won 10 first place category awards and all four of the grand awards at this year's fair. And while time doesn't permit us to acknowledge everyone, um, we did list every junior and his or her research title in the program. So you can scroll back up from that last page you were on and take a look at all the titles and that key with lots of funny symbols will identify the different awards that students won. So at this time, I will take a moment to recognize the first place winners from each of the regional science fair categories. In animal sciences, B.B. Trost. Behavioral and social sciences, Sarah Blair. Chemistry, Hannah Kim. Computer science, Bethany Duncan. Energy and transportation, Pranav Jaffe. Engineering, Jade Persona. Environmental Science, Eugen Kim. Medicine and Health, Leanne Ranger. Physics and Astronomy, Jillian Nyland. And Plant Sciences, Beverly Eborn. Please join me in congratulating these students who won first place at their category at the Central Virginia Regional Science Fair. All right, as Mrs. Shamit um, has said, there are 10 first place category winners. And in all, CVGS actually had 17 students who qualified to represent the governor school at the Virginia State Science Fair. This is a record for the program and a testament to how diligently these students worked on their research. It's amazing that we have to have an extended program and a variety of symbols just to acknowledge how awesome you guys are. Can you think about that for a moment? If this were a typical high school, we'd, we'd announce two or three names and be like, yay. Here we're like, we have a program of so many winners, we can't even take the hours that would be needed to say how great you are. So anyway, I just thought that was remarkable. Uh, we would now like to highlight each of our Regional Science Fair Grand Award winners, and we'll do so individually, applauding for each name as it is called out. 
uh, winning the grand alternate in biological sciences, B.B. Trost. And winning the grand alternate um, in physical sciences, Jillian Nyland. Now over to Mrs. Shannon. All right. And now we want to congratulate the two grand award winners for 2021, both of whom have represented Central Virginia and CVGS in the International Science Fair, which I guess they did interviews with the judges last week, but the actual event and all the online activities that are happening this year takes place next week. So winning the grand award in biological sciences, Beverly Eborn. And the grand award in physical sciences, Jade Persona. An added note at the state science fair, Jade was again recognized with an honorable mention in engineering. Well done, Jade. Hello. She's a black oh, that is amazing. There are other uh, research competitions that our juniors compete in after the regional science fair. One of them is the Virginia Junior Science and Humanities Symposium hosted by Longwood University. This year, 12 students were selected to present their research at the state level conference. For the first time in program history, CBGS earned two of the best in category awards. Let's applaud this very special achievement after each name is called. Placing in the first, placing first in the category of physical sciences was Jillian Nyland. And placing first in the category of life sciences was Beverly Eborn. Um, and I would also like to note that Beverly also placed fourth overall in the state level competition and earned the right to represent CVGS at the national level. Congratulations. And back to you, Mrs. Shamit. Thank you. I'm like throwing the ball back and forth here this morning. All right. So many research things. I can't do it all by myself. So, all right. So um, this is the 24th year that the Optimist Club of Lynchburg has recognized two CVGS juniors for their visual display of their research projects. And that basically means the posters. Um, so each winner of the Optimist Club Research Communication Award receives a $50 gift certificate a numbered Lynchburg medallion, and an invitation to be a special guest at a future Optimist Club lunch meeting. So after viewing many posters, the 2021 Optimist Club Research Communication Award winners are Regan Morford and Jeffrey Wooters. Congratulations, guys. And we will be in touch with you about following up um, with the things associated with that award. And our final recognition for research is a special CVGS course award that is granted by the research teachers. Each year at the end of the research process, the research teachers meet to discuss all the year's projects. And we come together to consider efforts and the quality of the work of each student throughout the year from project design through the actual presentation. So the faculty take on the difficult task of selecting just a few uh, whose work was so exceptional that they deserve to receive the CVGS Award for Excellence in Research, which does come with an honors medal. So there we go, get that up in there. They're so pretty, yes, okay. Um, and you guys will be able to pick up medals and also other course awards that are awarded today. And you have the opportunity to wear these next year at the Senior Recognition Ceremony. Now this year, as we know, has been an especially challenging year for research. Conducting research in a pandemic isn't an easy task. And I think we all applaud students for their perseverance, their creativity, problem solving, and flexibility that had to take place for completing these projects. I told students numerous times throughout the year how excited and proud I am that they were able to see research projects through to completion. And that was my personal fear at the beginning of the year. But students showed what CVGS students are made of and persevered. So this year, it may have been a little more challenging for the research teachers to decide upon research awards because everyone just, wow. Um, 
but there are a few who stood out. So please join me in applauding each student who received the special award. For outstanding achievement in research, our first honoree's attention to detail and thoroughness was impressive. She was able to easily articulate and follow through with her project at every step along the way and handled a large amount of data as it was a data mining project. She helped illuminate us all a bit more about social justice. Bethany Duncan. Hey, Bethany. Next, this student showed so much enthusiasm for her project and research overall. She was excited to be there each day to learn more about her project, complete her experiments, and read her results. She worked so hard throughout the whole process and came into school every opportunity she had. Avery Rourke. We also honor a student who developed their project like many did entirely at home. This student created a unique design, built a testing center and apparatus in their home to answer a question, and probably had to dodge some evil glances around the house related to taking over the kitchen table for weeks with an array of solar panels. Tariq Seju. <laughs> and finally, this student always presented a positive attitude in everything, even with the challenges and recruitment and design associated with an HPR project. She was persistent and always had a smile. She, had a great, she was a great peer editor and a positive influence on those around her and taught us that maybe we should all limit our time on electronic devices a little bit more. Ella Wazalowski. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our dedicated researchers. All right, yeah. and now it is time for the other three course awards. One award for math analysis, one for calculus and two for physics. Each of these awards represents consistent effort throughout the entire year and outstanding achievement that is a model for other members of our CVGS learning community. Each of these students will also receive a CVGS medal to be worn at the senior recognition ceremony next spring. The award for math analysis goes to a student who always went above and beyond on every assignment and test. His dedication to learning mathematics and his ability to explain his thought process thoroughly was impressive. This award for math analysis goes to Eric Coffey. The award for calculus goes to a student who always wanted to learn more and showed a true desire to understand the concepts we covered. He often asked questions that went beyond what we were doing in class just because he enjoyed learning mathematics. The award for calculus goes to Isaiah Bradner. All right, and that brings us to physics. There are many challenges this year, as you all know, for physics and being a lab-based science, uh, social distancing had extra challenges that were available. And so it required a much more creative approach for the lab component. And with the support of the CVGS Foundation, um, additional materials were uh, supported. I adapted all the labs and students actually did the labs individually, which I know can be extra challenging because you don't have a lab group that you can depend on. And so I really appreciate everybody's hard work throughout this year and your willingness to work hard. We did virtual labs, we did individual labs, you worked together and had to be creative and flexible. So thank you all for that. Um, I was very impressed with our juniors for stepping up and adapting to this challenging year. Several students excelled this year, and there are two students being recognized this year for the excellence in physics, for their consistent high academic achievement, but also their active and constructive contributions to the class. This first student, in addition to his uh, exceptional achievement in the class, participated virtually and on site, and seemed to always have a positive attitude, a willingness to help others. Um, I just... I, always seeing his face, his video was always on, and he contributed to contributions in class. And so this first Excellence in Physics Award goes to Brian Kate. The second student, who also maintained among the highest grades all year, demonstrated a genuine interest in many of the physics topics, often demonstrated her understanding through insightful questions and her willingness to help fellow classmates both on site and virtually. The second Excellence in Physics Award goes to 
Jillian Nyland. All right, back to you, Mrs. Shemt. Remember to unmute, that's helpful. Okay, <laughs> um, so we're gonna transition away from the course awards into some other special items. Um, so the first is uh, William and Mary Leadership Award. So in 2016, the College of William and Mary invited CBGS to participate in a program designed to recognize outstanding high school student leaders throughout the Commonwealth. The William and Mary Leadership Award was established to recognize a single high school junior in each school. And the faculty of the school are charged with selecting the student who serves as an example of leadership based on several criteria. The student should have a strong academic record, demonstrate creative thinking, actively participate in classes, volunteer in the school or community, earn the respect of teachers and peers, and work well with others. Now, it needs to be clearly stated that this recognition does not require any interest in attending William and Mary, although I may be a little sad since I am an alumni. And it doesn't carry any advantage for admissions or scholarships to the college. So the purpose of this award is simply to allow faculty of each participating high school to shine a light on a high school junior who exemplifies positive characteristics that I listed. Um, and you get, let me see if I can get this to show properly, you get a fancy little Wayne and Mary crest pin. It's so shiny, okay. Um, and again, as a Wayne and Mary alumni myself, I always appreciate the opportunity to award this and this year's William & Mary Leadership Award winner is Jade Persona. Yay! Yay. And this, I'll turn it over to Ms. McMillan. Thanks. As the CVGS Program Coordinator, one of my favorite opportunities is to coordinate the work of the CVGS Ambassadors. This position is designed to provide seniors with leadership opportunities as they perform a very important service for the governor's school. These students give tours of our facilities to middle school students. They talk about the CBGS program and their experiences in it with prospective students and their parents, and they represent CBGS in their school and community. They are the first to reach out to new juniors each year, and they are role models who help strengthen our community of learners. In addition, beginning with our ambassadors for the 2021-22 school year, these students have a special opportunity to work with Dr. Smith over the summer and then help the facility and their peers implement an exciting new senior fall collaborative project. Being selected as an ambassador is an honor. There are always many wonderful students who apply and a relatively small number of positions to fill. At this time, I'm delighted to announce the CVGS ambassadors for 2021-22, and we will clap for all of these students when I'm finished. Isaiah Bradner, Brooke Coleman, Beverly Eborn, Landon Epperson, Will Gregory, Eugene Kim, Eleanor McFadder, Jillian Nyland, Alasia Oaks, Jade Persona, Avery Rourke, Lily Van Bergen, and Austin Wright. <laughs> Ambassadors, I'm very much looking forward to working with you this summer uh, on this uh, special project that we're going to have in the fall. You're going to work with me to talk about leadership, teamwork, and communications, and then you are going to go through the special project as both a student and a facilitator. So I'm very excited about this opportunity for you. This concludes our awards assembly. Uh, juniors, we want you to know that we are very very proud of you. This has been a challenging year and you have done an amazing job and we are so excited for what you're going to be able to do in the fall and all the fun we're going to have together and how much you're going to learn. You're going to be able to do more, you are going to know more, and you are going to become more at the governor's school. So we're so excited for you. I want to remind you, you're not done yet. I know it feels like this is a, an end of uh, year activity. You're not done yet. So on Monday, 
We have a very special presentation for you at 7.30. Some of our current, our, our newest graduates are going to provide a new program called Griffins Take Flight. And it is all about selecting the right college or university and applying for scholarships, filling out the Common App. Very important information from people who just finished doing that and did it very well. So we're gonna have that program for you on Monday morning at 7.30. And then very excited about Tuesday morning at 7.30 because you get to have your final culminating activity for your math course. I know you are I'm very excited to demonstrate your learning on that opportunity. Then Wednesday, you will have a reading day. And I know some of you have some things to do at your base school. And then Thursday at 7.30, you're gonna have your final opportunity for physics. And then on Thursday at 10, 10 a.m., you all become the senior class at the Governor's School. And we are so excited for you to do that and for all that you are going to do for yourselves and for our incoming juniors. So thank you all so much. Thanks to everyone for joining us this morning. We are so glad you could be with us. Congratulations to our students, and we hope everyone has a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend. Thanks so much.